Look how sick this little thing is. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, look at it go. Dude, I want one of those. Yo, what's good, you guys? Okay, before this video actually starts, by the time I post this video, I will most likely be at 20,000 subscribers, which is crazy. Right now, I'm at 19.6. I'm about to hit 19.7. This is just crazy. Like, obviously, I'm gonna make a video once I actually hit it, but like, I just wanted to give, if I'm even there by the time this video goes up, I probably will be. So if you guys are watching this and I have 20,000 subscribers, thank you guys all for the support. Thank you guys all for subscribing, watching my videos, liking the videos. Like I keep saying, the support recently has been crazy. You guys are literally the best. Like I said a couple videos ago, when I very first started this channel, I did not think that I would be at over 20,000 subscribers. Like when I very first started this channel, it was just like, just fun stuff. Like me and my friends would just fuck around all day and just put it in a video. Like, you know what I mean? I just didn't think that my channel would grow to over 20,000 subscribers. And like, as of right now, it's just growing. It's growing faster than it ever has before, which is crazy. Like I said, I'll mention more of this at when I actually hit it and like react to me hitting it, blah, 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 all that stuff. But yeah, this is just like a quick thank you guys for everything. All the likes, all the comments, all the subscribing, just generally for all the support. So thank you guys. Okay, now on with the rest of the video. Okay, how to ollie stairs or how to ollie stairs comfortably. I don't really know what I'm gonna title this yet, but anyway, um, you guys love these types of like, not exactly trick tips, but like giving you guys tips on how to do certain things. So it's not exactly, you know, trick tips, but you, you guys get what I'm trying to say. Now I'm always asking you guys what types of videos I should make and I get so many requests for so many different types of videos to make. Like literally I have a whole list of just like so many videos to make. So I'm never gonna run out of ideas. There's always gonna be an upload. But anyway, a lot of people actually asked me to make how to skate stairs or like how to get comfortable ollieing stairs. So obviously that's this video. Now let me say this, skating stairs are like learning how to skate stairs. So like ollieing all different types of sized stairs. It's kind of scary. Like honestly, it's pretty scary. But I'm gonna try and help you guys overcome that fear and get comfortable with stairs. My two favorite things to skate are probably stairs and rails. Not handrails, just like regular rails because handrails still freak me out. So even though stairs are you know, pretty scary and intimidating. They're one of my favorite obstacles to skate. Now in this video, I skated a five stair as like a demonstration. But if you guys are new skaters, which a lot of you guys are, which is why you guys want me to make these types of videos, um, you don't have to skate a five stair because if you're just starting to skate, um, a five stair is kind of big. So maybe start with like a two stair, three stair, something small. Okay, but anyway, um, how to like get over, you know, that fear of ollieing stairs. First thing I would say to do is ollie everything, anything you can. Ollie off curbs, ollie off little drops, ollie off just anything you can find. I would say get used to skating little drops before you actually start skating stairs. Um, because when you skate off a drop, you don't really have to clear anything. You just go straight off of it. But when you skate stairs, you actually have to, you know, clear the stairs. So you have to be going a little bit faster and you have to be more comfortable clearing stuff, basically. But if you have been, you know, ollieing different things and you actually want to start skating stairs, like if there's like a four stair you want to go for, you want to try it ollie a four stair for the first time. For one, you're gonna need the speed. It's all about speed when you skate stairs. Obviously you wanna clear, you know, make it past the stairs. But the easiest way to like get over the fear of actually going for your first ollie off stairs is to go for the ollie and then kick out. Just ollie, kick out, and then just land on your feet. It takes away the fear so much because once you go for the ollie and you like clear the stairs and you land on your feet, you're like, okay, that wasn't so bad. Next try, I got this. And then it's just gonna build your confidence up to keep going for it, you know what I mean? Like I said in a recent video, once you get over that very first try, all the other tries after that are gonna be so much less stressful. I remember a really long time ago, I was like hesitating ollieing. I don't remember, I don't remember the size of stairs it was, but I was just like hesitating to ollie it. And I heard someone say, and I don't even think they were being serious, but I took it as they were being like, like they were being serious and it just helped me out so much but they said just imagine it's flat ground which is like crazy because you're skating stairs and you're supposed to imagine it just being on flat ground so that's why I said like I don't even think they were being serious but I took it as they were being serious which they probably were I don't remember I was just thinking about it so much and I was like when you do an ollie on flat ground you never kick out when you ollie off of something you shouldn't kick out which sounds so weird like I don't even know how I don't even know at the time how I thought about this but like I think what I thought was the stair like the beginning of the stairs where you pop and where you land was the same thing like connected you know like the stairs weren't there they were just connected that's how I think I thought about it and then I don't know how or why but like it worked for me like I just did it and it worked and it was so comfortable like everything with skating literally is a mental thing you just have to get over that mental block and then everything after that is just so much easier and so much less stressful now before you do actually decide 
um, to go all of your first stair set. Like I said, keep it small, like two stair, three stair, four stair, something like that. And like I said, ollie off every little thing you find, like every little drop, every curve, just ollie off everything, do a bunch of ollies on flat ground, just get super comfortable with ollies and leveling out your ollies. Now I have, I think, multiple videos on ollies, but like when you ollie, you're gonna wanna flatten it out like this. Cause I see a lot of people, like the main problem with ollies is people just ollie like that and their board just kind of stays like this until they come back on the ground. But once you get good enough to like ollie and like flatten out the board like this, that's gonna help you out so much with ollieing anything. Like if you're skating something small, like I said, like a four stair and you pop the ollie and you're like this flat in the air, there's literally nothing else to do but land. There's nothing else to do. Once you're in the air like this and your feet are on the board still, you're just gonna go down. Like there's nothing else to do. You just roll up the stairs, ollie, flatten it out. And then from here to here, there's literally nothing else to do. So like I said, the main thing is just getting over that mental block of being scared of it. Because stair stairs are scary, they're intimidating to people that skate and to people that don't skate. I mean, anyone could just look at a big stair set and be like, wow, you know, that looks intimidating. I always wonder what it's like for people that don't skate and have no idea anything about skating. Like imagine someone that doesn't skate, they don't know any, anything about skating, and they're walking down the street and they see someone skating like an 11, 12 stair, just like flying downstairs. Like I always wonder what people think about that. I barely remember a time where I didn't have a skateboard and like understand skating. So like I just kind of grew up just in that skate life, you know what I mean? So like jumping down stuff is just like a part of my life. So like just to imagine what other people think about it is like I have no idea what they think about it. But anyway, yeah. Another thing like I said before is speed. You have to be going fast enough to know that you're going to clear the stairs that you're skating. Like if you're skating a four stair, a five stair, like anything from a two stair to a five stair, honestly you don't have to be going that fast because most Stair sets are steep, not long, you know what I mean? And if it's only like a four or five stair, you don't really have to worry about that too much. But you do wanna make sure that you're going fast enough to at least clear that. Like literally, it's n it's not gonna be as bad as you think. Like if you're super scared of like going for your first ollie down a set, it's, it's never gonna be as bad as you think. Like I said, the only two things that you really need to focus on are the speed and just having a good leveled out ollie. If you're going fast enough and you, had a, and you have a good enough ollie, there's nothing to worry about. And like I said, once you very first go for it, just kick out. Go for go for the ollie, ollie, pop it out. Even if it's a super good ollie and you feel good about it, but it's your first time doing it, just kick it out. Just kick the board away from you. It's gonna build your confidence so much because like the main thing is just like going from the top of the stairs to the bottom. That's what people are scared of is just clearing the stairs. So if you just go for it, kick out the board and just land on your feet, you're gonna have that like, you're just gonna have a feel for the stair set and then your muscle memory is gonna kick in. You're gonna remember exactly what you did the first time. And I know it could be hard to like get over a fear like that with skating because like skating's probably the only sport, literally the only sport where you can, I don't even wanna say this, but like it's the only sport where like you probably could die from skating. I'm not like, no one has died from skating, but like everybody thinks that. Like if you're skating something like El Toro or just any super sketchy spot, everyone has that thought of like, dude, this could fucking kill me. Like what other sport can kill you? Oh, actually there's a lot, probably snowboarding. Actually people have died snowboarding, hitting fucking trees and shit. But I mean a sport that anyone can just go outside and do. Like everyone has that thought. But like I said in a recent video, like when you're scared and you're just going through all these things that can happen and you're thinking like the worst possible things that could happen, that most likely won't happen. Like I said, if you're a new skater and you're skating like a three, four, five stair, most likely nothing's gonna happen. Like I said, if you have a good ollie, good speed, kick out the board first, you're gonna be good. Good. There's there's not gonna be anything to worry about. Like I said, it's just getting over that mental block is the hardest thing. And when you do a regular ollie, like on flat ground or whatever, um, your foot position doesn't have to change. Just keep your feet the exact same way you do as when you're just doing a regular ollie on flat. It's crazy. I still remember the very first two stair I ever ollied. It was my neighbor's porch actually, and I actually filmed it. Like I remember filming my very first ollie off a two stair. I was like this little kid, and I ollied a two stair, and it was a super terrible ollie. Like the ollie was literally just like that, just like a super rocketed ollie just a terrible ollie but it was off a two stair it was my very first thing that i ollie that wasn't a curb and i was hyped i was this little kid running around my freaking neighborhood like oh my god i ollie a two stair dude i wish i had those clips still i had it filmed i had it filmed but that was so many years ago those clips are just long gone by now but yeah other than that there's really not else not much else to go over like i said the three two to three main things is your speed, having a good ollie, and just getting over that mental block. Which getting over the mental block, like I said, just 
Go for the ollie and just kick out your board and just land on your feet. That's gonna help you out so much, trust me. Because once you have a feel for the stairs, once you have a feel for like going from the top of the stairs to the bottom, it's just gonna make everything so much easier. Hopefully this helps you guys. Every time I make one of these videos, I just don't know if it's gonna help you guys because I don't even know if I do a good job at explaining how to do things. I, I don't know. But every time I put out one of these videos, it gets really good feedback. And you guys actually tell me that, you know, it helps you out a lot. So I'm glad these videos are helping you guys because a lot of you guys are new skaters and new subscribers. Like a lot of my new subscribers are brand new skaters. Like you guys wanna learn so much and there's so much to learn with skating. So yeah, like I said, um, hopefully this helped you guys. Dude, I look orange. Tomorrow. Okay, I was gonna end this video earlier after I finished like the main part of this video but I woke up this morning to 20,000 subscribers and I'm already at 20.3 like 20,000 may not be a big number in the terms of like YouTube subscribers like in the YouTube world 20,000 isn't a lot but this is a big number for me I remember being so happy when I hit just a hundred subscribers so to have 20,000 now and literally get hundreds of new subscribers a day it's really exciting for me like this is a big number for me like I say in almost every video thank you guys for all the support the support has been crazy um i love you guys i love you guys so much but let's keep it going let's get to 50k and then 100k shout out to all of you guys i love you and um thank you i'll see you guys in my next video peace <laughs> <laughs>